Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, try that again. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Chris. I'm here with Zach and Toby talking about black sales. Yeah. So this is the second time you guys have been to New York Comic Con. How was the reception this time around? Really good. It's a really good feeling out there. They're, uh, they seem pretty excited. Yeah, I think it's it's really cool being here this time because uh, everyone's actually seen the show, so there was a lot of excitement and uh, and you know a lot of people showed up, so it's cool to see the fans uh, loving it. And it's big news you guys already got renewed for season three, so it's good to get that kind of vote of confidence going in. I'm sure. Well, it's definitely better than getting canceled. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that is it's <laughs> absolutely the worst. So let's talk about the last season and where you guys are going for the next season. Obviously, you guys are a couple of the more slippery characters on the show. Um, where where is your path headed into season three? Well, I mean, the, when when the first season started, we were at the top of our game. We were a feared, respected crew, and then we lost our ship, and we kind of you know started to slide down the the ladder of power. And uh, kind of our paths, you know, split at that point. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, for for season one, I feel like, uh, you know, Charles Vane got kicked in the nuts a lot. So yeah. in season two, look for him to kick some other people in the nuts yeah. a lot. Yeah, there seems to be, a, uh, well, there's definitely an edge of menace to the character. So it's going to be nice to see him flex that a little bit. Oh, yeah, I'm just going to do two microphones because uh, one wasn't <laughs> enough. But um, you're gravy. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, I mean, he's, he's definitely he's a heavy guy, and, uh, you know, I think he's good, at, he's good at getting back up, you know, and, and, that's, uh, and that's a good quality to have. So, uh, you know, there's, there's more coming, and it's a, it's a lot bigger, and uh, I think it's more of what everyone liked and a, a, lot, of the, a lot of the backstory and then also a lot of, uh, a lot of awesome action sequences. So. There was, yeah, there was definitely a lot of like cool stuff in the finale with action. It, it, do you have a favorite scene that you got to do action-wise? Action-wise, well, yeah. Uh, for me, you know, uh, the the in seven where I when I when I fought Albinus, uh, that was like a, that was kind of a culmination of a, of a lot of work in my life um, to that point, and uh, and I had a I had a blast fighting um, Garth Collins, who did a really fantastic job with the, with the role of Albinus. And uh, just getting to do that kind of stuff uh, was, was just fun for me. For you know, I've, I've never had a chance to do it in another project. And um, in, in season two, they let me do it a lot more. And it's, uh, it's good fun. Awesome. So as we move forward, it seems like we're getting closer to sort of Treasure Island lore. Is that going to mm -hmm. come more into play in this season? Well, I think there's still a way to go. You know, we're still 20, 20 years out in a way. The first season happens over a couple of weeks. Right. The second season picks up where we left off. So we, we, we're not leaping to, uh, to everyone being a lot older yet. So we've still got a ways to go. But that's not to say that we don't start to get a bit of a flavor for, from the Robert Louis Stevenson starting to come into the plot. So let's talk about your character a little bit. Where yep. is he going this season? Well, yeah. I mean, like he sort of, when we last left him, he'd slid ra right down to one of the bottom rungs of, of power. And I think he's still got a, a, a little bit more sliding to go before he managed to start climbing his ascent. You know, he's sort of surrounded by, um, by females, really, by the, by the end of the first season. And I think there's a sort of a slight Achilles heel there with, uh, with right. Jack and, and the girls. It's a kind of a fun Achilles heel to play, I have to say. Um, but uh, yeah, you know, I mean, he might have a little bit more nut kicking to happen to him still. <laughs> I think. Yeah. What I feel like the female characters in the show, they're like business women, and they're strong, and they're you know they're moving forward. So how do you how do you see that dynamic playing with your character? Well, uh, we know historically that that Rackham had some some women around him, some powerful you know dangerous women around him, and, and that's definitely where the plot's heading towards at the moment. So I don't see that that idea evaporating in the seasons to come. Awesome. Do you, do you get your own boat again? Well, I think you know one of the uh, you know one of the ways they really you know kicked the character in the nuts, so to speak, um, was to take away a ship. And uh, and you know as a pirate, you know it, it was so interesting because I was so excited to get cast as a pirate, and I was like, I'm playing a pirate captain. And like the first <laughs> thing that happened was, I all of a sudden I was like, I'm not a pirate captain anymore. <laughs> and you can't be a captain without a boat or a crew. Um, and and so I think I think the like my own frustration in that is the same frustration that uh, that Vane feels. So uh, yeah, I mean definitely I know we know in the future um, you know when when you get to see Charles go out and do some hunting with uh, with the Ranger crew, it'll probably be a, a pretty special moment. Uh, you know. Awesome. Well, thanks guys for chatting with us. For all things Black Sales and New York Comic Con, keep it locked to IGN.